We were never going to do an Easter special without having an Easter themed tablescape. Like, Sarah Gunn, we bring her here specifically for <laughs> these. You were so good at the tablescapes, and people remember them year after year. So, I'm excited that we're doing this now. Do you love Easter? Like, is that one of your favorite holidays? I love Easter, mostly for the colors and that sort of thing. But yeah. I was saying, I talked to my son the other day, and for some reason he was ranking holidays. And he's like, Easter's in my top three. I'm like, I think we only celebrate three. <laughs> We so I don't do know if that's three? a win, but Christmas, I... Christmas, Thanksgiving, yeah. Easter. I always loved Easter because as a kid, the Easter Bunny would hide our basket and we'd wake up in the morning with a little note card next to our bed that said, Happy Easter, go to this book in the living room and turn to page 19 and then there would be another little card and it would lead wins. us through the house. And then sometimes... That is so cool. Is that so good? Yes. Sometimes it would be in the washing machine or in the car and I just, I loved it so much. I still have the card somewhere. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's beautiful. I still remember Sunday school doing Easter egg hunts outside on the yes. front lawn of the church. And every year we were like, oh, it's not that warm. <laughs> Dress me in my like little Sunday school outfit with oh, the Mary Janes with the little socks yes. folded over, with and the then lace. and I'd be like, oh, I'm freezing, but I'll do it for chocolate. Anything for chocolate, right? Yeah. I will do it for chocolate. Yeah. So we're going to make uh, a beautiful tablescape that you've come up with. Let's talk theme. Yeah. Well, I was inspired by Easter baskets and the fact that as a grown-ups we don't get them anymore. Oh, I get them. Which. <laughs> Oh, I still get an Easter basket. I need uh, Easter Bunny <laughs> call must. me because we need to talk. Yeah. Well, you're one of the few. And, yeah. And I'm going to be one of the few this year, too, after I have a conversation. But I thought we could do, like, an, an Easter basket for adults is sort of the theme for That's the table. sweet. And then once I have a theme, I just sort of wander the stores to see what's available seasonally because every year it changes a little bit. Like, of course, you're going to find bunnies. Of course, you're going to find different things. But yeah. um, I was drawn to this tablecloth because it has those really beautiful, rich Easter Stunning. colors. I love the check in it. So that was sort of the starting point point for this table yeah that is beautiful it's, and it's really got pretty. all the gorgeous it's pastels so happy. it's happy yeah. so we start with the tablecloth and then what's next so then we'll move on to the place settings and like I said it's an Easter basket sort of theme so I found these baskets that are about the same size as a placemat or a charger yeah and I thought why not use these at each place setting it's perfect and if you're going to use a basket you want to make sure that one has a low profile because you don't want your guests cutting their food like this right. with these big <laughs> handles on the side so these are nice and low which is really great and they're also going to create a separation between the busy pattern of the table yes and each place setting and you're gonna use these again yeah watch the bachelor with this on your lap right Done. and dinner <laughs> right yeah. so like get something you're or gonna popcorn. use again yeah or popcorn whatever you've got yeah. whatever you want I love that beautiful Okay, so next up, uh, we're going to layer some gorgeous plates. Yes, so I found these, which oh, pull the colors so nice. of the tablecloth. And believe it or not, they're indestructible. They're yeah. melamine. So you can use these for your outdoor entertaining later in the year. And I love that sort of floral detail that really said spring. Very nice. And then we're going to pop just a neutral salad plate on top of that. And this is whatever you've got, if you've got yes. your white uh, plates that you're using all the time. But this one's got a nice, really this nice design. This one has a little bit of a detail. Yeah. yeah. I said that there wasn't going to be any blue in this when I talked to you the other day. That's there's just, a little bit of blue. I snuck a little bit in there. That's okay. But I wore it's blue in honor of you today. I you look so good, too. Thank I love you, it. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, and then there's the napkins. Yes. So, I, again, it's pulling those colors of the tablecloth. This is a plaid version of that pattern, which is really great. Yeah. Now, if you were going to set them on the table, I would go with a solid, because I don't know if you can see this but it really gets lost it looks Kinda a little messy it does so instead put it on top of the plate and then it really adds another layer of pattern which is so pretty that's so pretty and then we've got these glasses oh yes. which have a vintage feel to them because they have little easter bunnies on them i don't know if you can tell yeah so it's hard cute. to see but they're etched on the glass a little uh, a little bunny rabbit they're yeah beautiful. they're adorable and like I said, when I wander the aisles for inspiration, I don't just stick to the dining section. Right. I wander the entire store. Yeah. As you know, I've used rugs on tables for runners yes. and, and all sorts of weird things because you can't, and why not? So this time I went to the, um, like the gift wrap section of the store. Okay. And these are little sort Look of at like how cute Easter goodie is. bags. Isn't that cute? And they're very inexpensive. It's just yeah. a, you can repurpose these later on and use them for something else. But I thought, why not stick the flatware in there? We just went with a classic So it's an bolt. actual bag, like yeah. a little goodie bag. Right. And it's just folded, and you put the cutlery in. It's beautiful. It's like a little bunny pocket. Nice. And uh, you just tuck that in. I really do like the gold flatware, though. That's really beautiful. It's my favorite. It looks oh good with gosh. everything. So nice. And then last but not least, are we going to talk about this guy? Yes. So, so you cute. know what? I wanted to elevate each place setting a little bit. You yeah. can have a lot of fun with scale. So mm -hmm. I saw these, and I thought that they were really, really cute. They pulled in colors of the table. I put a little card with everybody's initial That's on sweet. it. That's sweet. 
and then you set them in each place setting. You can give them to your guests to take home if you're feeling generous. Yep. Or you can take them and decorate your mantle with them after they leave. That's it's up right. To you. <laughs> yeah. Get out. I want to use that on my fireplace. Thank yep. you. Okay, last but not least, you love to do a really big, beautiful, bold uh, centerpiece. I do. I do. And yeah. you know what? That floral cloud that we made in that segment earlier would look really pretty hung over the table, but yes. I want to keep with the Easter basket theme. Nice. So this is the winner. It adds really nice color, but it doesn't compete with all the pattern that's going on with the tablecloth and the placemats because yeah. it reads like a solid. It's absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Yay. Like, who even cares what we eat now? It's just so pretty. <laughs> that's what I'm hoping. Right? Anyway, it doesn't matter. 